Hello, my name is Knut Benedikt and again I want to tell you something about chips dynamic and this time about the magic strange pivot point issue. Um, and again I will use the Summon planning tool for the demonstration uh, because of the fast time simulation you can uh, have all the results in a finger snip. So for the time being we have positioned the ship here and it's a cruise ship again with two engines, both thrusters, stern thruster, two rudders and um, for the time being it's going uh, ahead with 30% of engine order settings which results in 6.2 um, knots. Maybe we reduce it a little bit, this is 20, so now it's going with 3.7 knots. And you see here are the uh, ship shapes for the position every minute. So you can display the, these shapes up to 23 minutes because that is a cycle where the, where the, uh, where the uh, engine, the fast time simulation engine is running. And um, yeah. So the first is for pivot point we need to turn, we need to turning. So we go with our rudder by 35 degree to starboard and uh, I make it a little, so we have it here, so I make it a little bit bigger than you see it in more detail. So this is then our turning circle and um, this is a speed vector. It's uh, adjusted to three minutes. Maybe we make it a bit, little bit longer, longer to six minutes. So now it's uh, six minutes. And when we want to see in detail what happens along this track, then we move this magic time slider here. And then the ship is going out of the reference position. So you see here, then now after 10 seconds the rudder is already full deflected and then you see that the ship is moving out of this one. To indicate the pivot point we use the speed vectors, pivot, I set the pivot point vectors and now you see additionally to the, uh, <coughs> to the uh, speed vector and the cause of a ground direction, you see also the transverse speeds here. I reduce it a little bit to five minutes and we see all the factors here. And if I move the ship uh, outside, then you see that the transfer speed at the bow, you see it in some of the bridge um, equipment like uh, NACOS from some electronics that you have the transfer speed at the bow, at the stern and even the longitudinal speed is indicated here. So these are the transferred speed vectors. This is the course over ground the speed vector. And if you connect the tips of the transfer speed vectors with this broken line here then there's a certain intersection with the ship center line about here. And this is the pivot point. And you see when the pivot point is uh, in the beginning, when we start the maneuver, then the pivot point is more to the center. And if the ship proceeds forward, then finally the speed, uh, the pivot point is located, I move it a little bit faster, is located at the bow. Um, yeah, the speed at uh, the pivot point means this is a point where the transfer speed of this ship shape is zero. So the ship turns around this pivot point at the moment. And uh, at the bow, the bow is moving in this direction and the stern is going to the outside of the turning circles with 1.67 knots. The bow is only small 0.24 and here this position, this has only a forward speed. The pivot point has only a forward speed but no transfer speed. Um, yeah, you might ask um, why 
on Earth the course over ground vector is pointing nearly in the heading direction. So between course over ground and heading there's only two degrees different difference. Um, this has something to do with the so-called common reference point. You can adjust on the ship lengths where you want to have your how to say your speed vector located. Normally you take the bridge position for this one but this has the so-called advantage in my mind uh, that if the common reference point is very close to the pivot point then there is no transfer speed so the course over ground vectors point in the same direction as the heading so straight ahead and um, to my understanding it would be better to locate the common reference point here at the center because that is the average drift angle because there's no drift angle indicated here in this position and there is a heavily drift angle as you can see it here okay this is the this is the pivot point location the question is can we affect the pivot point position that it's wandering on the on the ship length and does it have any consequences for the maneuvering capability um, yes we can for instance um, the position of the pivot point vector is very much depending on the on the mean on the on the um, if you do it with a rudder or if you do it at the stern or the, the stern thruster it's the same situation or you use a bow thruster you, we can give it a try and if we use instead of the stern rudder we use the stern thruster so I switch to zero degree rudder and instead I use the stern thruster in this direction so what you see is the stern thruster is not so much effective um, but what you see is that the, the pivot point uh, again is very much in front so it's nearly at the bow it's nearly at the bow you see and also drift angle and now we will do the opposite I um, switch the by the way this was not full so so this is the full thrust of full to to port side and now I use instead of the stern thruster I'm using the bow thruster to the starboard side so you see now the difference that in case you use um, a force in the, at the bow section then the ship is being pulled to the side so the pivot point is even after uh, behind the center of gravity it's, about, it's around here and strangely enough if you look onto the drift angle so it seems as if the bow of the ship is pointing outside so instead of a drift to the inside which we had before it's pointing outside uh, this has something to do with the equilibrium so if you have a force which is really pointing into the turning circle then there must be other forces due to, due to centrifugal forces and the damping forces which are uh, opposing, opposing the, this, this uh, force I will explain it later uh, okay but the clear, the clear difference is here now the pivot point is going to the stern more to the stern near, close to the center if you want to do it really in the center then we could combine the bow thruster with some rudder so five degrees rudder um, so it's nearly at the center with 10 degrees rudder you see it's nearly at the center of gravity so the pivot point is here that means we can have effect on the pivot point position by using different maneuver, maneuvering um, equipment and um, what I should say is so the pivot point location is depending clearly on the ratio between 
rate of turn and the drift. In this case we have nearly no drift angle, so the pivot point is located in the center. As if the ship is turning only this one, no drift, no drift. So that means the pivot point has nothing to do with how to say, to, to be used as a reference point for allocating forces here and if you allocate the forces here then it has much more effect. No, it will immediately have effect on the pivot point position. To make it very clear, I will use another force to make a more drift behavior and in, then you see immediately that the pivot point is changing. I'm using external forces, wind. So here is the tableau for the wind. The direction is zero, the speed is zero, so I will use uh, wind. Unfortunately, I have to set it with this small, uh, this small tableau. I use it here. So I'm using uh, maybe 20 knots of wind from north. Enter. And then you see immediately what happens to the pivot point. Now, because due to the wind drift, the pivot point has, has walked to the stern of the vessel. So the pivot point is absolutely aft because of the big drift angle due to the wind effect. If you, do, if you make the wind effect a little bit smaller, maybe using only 10 knots for the wind, then you see it's not drifting that much, then the pivot point is again here. So the pivot point position is highly depending on the ratio of rate of turn and drift. And if you change your maneuvering means to have effect on the drift, then you also locate the pivot point position. Okay, thank you very much.